Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to clear the current data held in your worksheet, but you don't want to delete your formula. And in this video, we're going to look at how to do this using a VBA macro. So for example, I can press this button here and it clears all of the data. It leaves my text labels intact and it leaves my formulas intact. So if I type some numbers in here, you can see that the formulas are still present. Okay. Let's see how we can do this. Now, your first step would be to show the developer tab on your ribbon. If you cannot see it, then right click on one of the other tabs, go to customize the ribbon, and then make sure developer is ticked here. Now, once you're in the developer tab, click on this Visual Basic button, and that'll open up the Visual Basic editor. Now in the Project Explorer down the side here, and if you can't see that, just go to View and then Project Explorer, you'll see a project for each Excel workbook that you have open. So the workbook I'm currently in is Delete Values But Not Formulas. And what I need to do is create a module within this project. Now I've already got a module there, but if you haven't got a module, just go to Insert and Module. You see I've got a second module now. And then within that module, you'll need to paste in this code. And I'll provide a link to this code in the description of this video. So I'll just walk you through this code. The name I've given it is Reset Spreadsheet. I've got an error handler here because the code will throw an error if it doesn't find any cells containing constants to delete. So instead of throwing up an error, it will return a message box, no cells were found. So this line of code is the code that selects the cells that we want to delete. And basically the cells are constant cells, so cells that contain values and data rather than formulas. And I'm only selecting the numeric constants, not the text constants. Then once that selection has been made, I just want to clear the contents. And then lastly, just to keep things tidy, I select range A1. Okay, that's all the code that you need. So if I close down the Visual Basic Editor, how do we make this button? Well, on the Developer tab of your ribbon, you'll see the Insert button here, and under Form Controls, you've got this Button button. So once you've clicked on that, draw your button on your worksheet, select the macro that you want the button to run, click on OK, and then you can write some text in the button. Click outside the button and then press the button and it will run the macro. Now this workbook now contains a macro. So when you save it, you have to save it as a macro enabled workbook, not an Excel workbook. If you try and save it as an Excel workbook, it will delete the macro. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.